continue with my campaign and win the election. Okay, and why do you want another four years? Because I want to continue doing what I've been doing. I think that the commission needs people who have a real commitment to ethics, mm -hmm. uh, smart growth, the environment, and social services. And I don't believe my uh, opponent has a commitment to any of those issues. Give us a sense of how you can convince the public that, in my opinion anyway, is really senses this, this commission, this county commission, not individually necessarily, but as a whole. I understand what you're, as, you're going As really unethical and cotton to lobbyists, how do you change that impression, Commissioner, that it's a new day and you're going to be elected and you're going to bring back the stability and the, the reputation of the county government? First of all, I really have had no ethical problems on the commission for the 18 years that I've been there. That's number one. That distinguishes me from other people. That's one of the things. I have been leading the fight for ethics since 2001. What I need is to have you help me get four more people who have the same commitment to ethics sitting there with me that will make a difference in this county and the rest of the community can start to really believe that they have a commission that has this commitment that I've always had. Mm -hmm. And is there some sort of a... Do you believe a new start, no matter who gets elected to the county commission, you can sort of capitalize on the idea that it's a new dawn, a new day, and it's time to... to I plan to do so. And, and tell us how you're going to do that. Well, first of all, I'm going to start doing it before I get reelected. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing it on August 8th when we have our meeting to decide what to do with the um, Ethics Commission report. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, due to what happened with my colleague, I think that the votes that weren't there and that we're trying to um, dismantle the Ethics Commission's um, report will now uh, support it, based on what I've read in some of the articles. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's where I start setting the tone again for ethics reform. But I really need five more, not just four more. I'd like to have the Ethics Commission's um, suggestions ensconced not just in an ordinance, but in the Charter so that the public has faith that on any Tuesday, with five votes, they can't take it away. Mm -hmm. If it's only an ordinance, it can be changed any Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And that's what worries me. Let me jump in here if I can. Um, one of the elements of the ethics reform that you say you support, it says commissioners could no longer, no longer sit on the selection committees. Mm -hmm. We all know that's the lobbyists follow who's on the committees and, that, and money is funneled. You've been putting yourself on all of these selection committees since you've been running. I've been doing it since I was there. I did it in the very beginning, Brittany, because I saw that when um, a previous commissioner who ended up going to uh, jail, but not for that reason, was on the bond deals every single time there was one and seemed to steer business to his friends that I thought I could make a difference by being there and not voting the way he wanted it to go. It was long before your day. Um, and he really controlled all the bond business in Broward County. I found that my one vote did not make one scintilla of a difference. But I found in other, when I've been on other selection committees that I can, my vote can make a difference. I've watched where certain people have skewed the votes because you can vote from one to five if mm -hmm. there are five presenters and one is the best and if they have a friend or a lobbyist friend who's uh, got a client there they can give the best one of five thereby skewing the total number of points I have people know that whether you give me money or not whether you're my friend or not, although I, you have no friends among the lobbyists. My friends are outside the political arena. Um, I will vote what's best for the county. I have consciously done that always and hope that if by doing that 
and there's enough staff there that will do the same thing, it can make a difference. So you're saying you're there to protect us from the unethical commissioners that are on there? Yes, yeah, that may be unethical, yes. I'm not calling them unethical. I say maybe, but I've seen it happen. But how often do you vote for Bernie's clients? Probably less than half. Probably 30% because sometimes he does have the best client. If you look at my record, the latest example I can give you was the diplomat. That was his client. I killed that project. Mm. That was very important to him. Okay. I mean, I really try to do what's best for the public. Now, I mentioned that 